Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor of New Tabor Brethren Church, and this is Bible Boost. Today's subject is the secret of grandparents. Now, have, having be one, you know, I am a grandparent, I, I've noticed some things that in my behavior, in my wife's behavior, of how we react around grandchildren. So why do our grandchildren love to see Granny and Poppy? You know, we've got gray hair. Our figures have, have declined over the years. We've got wrinkles now. Um, our, our clothes are frumpy and funny, you know, to them. We, we're not in high fashion with all the young people. Uh, we can't move fast. Why? What's so attractive to two old people? Well, let's look at this. Number one, we dote over and love our grandchildren. That's one of our secrets. Grandparents just make over their grandchildren. You always hear people... You, you know, don't ever ask a grandparent for pictures of the grandchildren. You'll be there all day. Another one is we show interest in their lives. Yeah, when, when, when Anna Lee or Ella walks up and I'm in a conversation with my son Seth and his wife Casey, I'll stop everything. Right mid-sentence of their talking, I'll give full attention and talk to my two granddaughters. We give them unconditional love. That's another key area. We give them unconditional love. It's one of our secrets. And then finally, we give them time and attention, which is value, you know. C number two, we show interest in their lives, which is also value. And on top of that, we, we bring some candy, toys, and, and other fun stuff too, you know, grandparents. Romans chapter 12 and verse 10 says, Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Sort of sounds like grand, grandparents, doesn't it? the way we behave around our grandchildren. Because when we're grandparents, we often behave biblically around our grandchildren. Now, can you imagine your relationships if that same behavior followed all of your relationships? How popular you would be? People would light up when you walked in the room, wouldn't they? If you behaved that way. And here's some of the traits of, of a grandparent. Kindness. We're kind. We're patient. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they stumble over the words. We think that's cute. Listening, we will listen to what they have to say. We are hanging on every word. Loving, we are absolutely loving them. Affectionate, we, we give them hugs and show, give, give, them, give them all kind of affection. We give value and we give them time. You know what? If you were to behave that way biblically to all the people you come in contact with in every relationship, it will change your world radically. You don't have to have gray hair. You don't have to have wrinkles and be out of shape. You don't have to move around slow. No. You just take that same behavior, put it to your relationships, and it will rock your world. You could be that out of shape person. You could be out of fashion, and people will still love your company, and they will still appreciate and want to be around you more. Fact is, God loves you more than grandparents love their grandchildren. He's already behaving that way toward us. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1 tells us, See what great love the Father has lavished on us. Sounds like a grandparent, doesn't it? That we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. Hey, friend, I want to encourage you today. Give it a try in your other relationships. The secret's out. God bless you. We'll see you next time on Bible Boost.